Hello everybody and welcome back to The Second Shelf. It's the first week of August and that means it's time for my August TBR. And if you're new to the channel, um, just to explain, TBR for me doesn't mean to be read, but it means to be released. So at the beginning of each month, I pick a couple of new releases to be released in that month that I thought are interesting, that looked interesting, and present them to you. And the first book I want to talk to you about is a work of translated fiction because August is also Women in Translation Month and so I thought I'd start off my August TBR with a female author in translation and that is Maya Lunde, The History of Bees. The book will be published in English in the UK on the 22nd of August, a little later, beginning of September in um, the US. And Maya Lunde is a Norwegian author who has written children's books before, and this is her first novel for adults. Um, if you look at the description box down below, I've stated that the book had been translated from the Norwegian, but for the life of me, I couldn't find the translator because neither publisher uh, stated the translator. I looked on Goodreads, I looked online. If you have more luck than me, please let me know because I think it is necessary to mention the translator, but I just couldn't find him or her. So anyway, The History of Bees is um, uh, a story set in three different time zones, so to say. It's in 1852 in England, um, in the early 2007 in the United States, and in 2098 in China. So these three different stories follow beekeepers. Um, uh, and I, I thought the idea, first of all, uh, interested in, in bees and the history of bees sounded really interesting, but also the, the idea of looking into the past, the present and the future with the same topic. Yeah, um, what have you. I, I thought it sounded interesting. Um, I, I don't know uh, Maya Lunde. As I said, she, she wrote children's books and I don't think any of her children's books have been translated. So I can only tell you what I've seen in the blurb um, and check it out in, on Goodreads if you want to, but I, I thought the story sounded really interesting. The second book I want to talk to you about is a book that you will probably hear me gush about forever because I already read it even though it only comes out on the 12th of August and that's Fiona Mosley Elmet. It's a literary debut. Fiona Mosley is a very young British writer. She grew up in York. She's, I think, 27, 28. And Elmet was her first novel, and it was already immediately a hit in the sense that it was longlisted now for the Men Booker Prize 2017. So you might have heard about the title. Uh, and as, as I said, um, normally my TBRs to be released is things that I look at and find interesting, but this one I already read last weekend and I thought it was brilliant. It's the story about uh, a young boy, Daniel. He's 14 years old and he lives with his sister, Kathy, who's a year older, and his father, who is only referred to as Daddy um, in the book, in the York woods close to Doncaster. Um, the father used to work as a as a prize fighter, as a boxer, but not you know in in the official rings, but in these made up prize fights um, in in the countryside. Um, and the mother is not there. We learn later on what what happened with the mother, but we only know that the two children and the father moved to the Yorkshire woods and that they built a house there. But it sounds all very idyllic, and I love the way um, Mosley had Daniel, because it's written from Daniel's point of view, had Daniel describe uh, the area, the woods, the way they live. Um, but, of course, the idyllic atmosphere is not going to last long. And there is one of the local bosses, so to say, Mr. Uh, Price, um, and the tension really run high because uh, Price claims that the land the house is built on, the family's house is built on, belongs to him. It's a very powerful story, I thought. It's the, the, I, I loved the, the language. Um, it's funny at times, but also very lyrical. 
um, the story really gripped me, although it's, I have to say, it's, it's quite a sad story. Uh, but I thought it, it was a brilliant uh, debut novel. Um, it was a really good book, and especially for a debut, that's what I should say. So that's Elmet by Fiona Mosley, and it comes out on the 12th of August. And please don't be put off by the horrible cover. I think it's really ugly, but the book is great. And the next book I want to mention is a book of nonfiction, because I promised myself that I would you know, promote nonfiction more on my channel. So at least one of the to be released books should be nonfiction. And this one is even better, a book about books. It's Anne Hood, Morning Star. It will already be out when this video is up because it comes out on the 1st of August. And it's a memoir um, about Anne Hood, an American writer who writes fiction and nonfiction, um, uh, of her growing up and the books that were important to her. It's not uh, very lengthy, it's only it's under 200 pages um, and I came across that book uh, through Steve at Steve Donahue's because he praised it on his channel. Uh, I will leave a link to this video uh, in the description box and I, I trust, first of all, I trust his judgment and second of all, I love to disagree with him so maybe I don't like the book uh, but it sounded great and I love books about books, especially memoir kind of books where a writer, you know, explains which books in, in their childhood were important to them or reflecting on books they, they like and reread. So this one is uh, a no-brainer for me, Morning Star by Anne Hood. And as always, I conclude my TBR uh, with a science fiction Although you might qualify the first book, Maya Lunda's History of Bees, also as kind of a science fiction because part of the book, as I said, takes place in 2098. Um, but this one is science fiction fantasy and it's, of course, N.K. Jemisin's final volume on the Broken Earth series, the third book in the series, The Stone Sky, which will come out mid-August. Um, as you know, I'm bad with series, but this one I really loved. I not only read the first uh, one, um, but I did read the second one, and I will read the third one. And for those of you who might not have read the series or don't know about the series, um, um, the first book is called The Fifth Season, and it follows, um, it's set in a, in a fantasy world, not unlike the our earth but it's all one continent and it's a very volatile world which is funnily enough called the stillness because the world is not still at all you have earthquakes and volcanic eruptions and you have a magic system people who are able to either cause these earthquakes or uh, still them um, and you have in the first book we, we follow various women uh, as a child as an young adult and as an uh, it's older woman who have all three women have this ability in, in the second book obelisk gate we follow esun she's one of those women and she has this ability and she's looking for her lost daughter nasun who also has this ability i thought the first book was really great uh, the world building I thought was really good. I liked the characters. I liked the, the, the various stages of these women as, as girls and when they learn to use their, their skills and later on when the world erupts into the fifth season, one of those seasons when everything goes wrong. I thought Obelisk Gate was not as good. For me, I called it in one of my books weekly, I called it a hyphen book, you know, the book in between. Um, but I really have high hopes for the conclusion of the series, even more so because Thomas over at SS SFF 180 um, already reviewed the book. I will leave a link to his video down below. And if you're interested, by the way, in science fiction, you should definitely follow his channel because he only discusses science fiction. Uh, I didn't watch the all the review all the way through because I didn't want to be spoiled but uh, the beginning of the in his video he says that it's a fantastic conclusion and I trust his judgment so I'm really looking forward to the third book in the Broken Earth series The Stone Sky. So this was my to be released in August. I hope that some of the books uh, could interest you. Let me know whether you plan on picking up any of them or whether you have any special release in August that you are excited about. 
Um, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the vid video. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you soon in my next one. Bye-bye.